All right, welcome to uh, Conan Exiles. I found this weird thing in a note. This is where I am on the map. There's a priestess of Mithra there. Killed him. I'm trying to make my way back home, which is way over here. The new home base is here. That's the new base. And this is the old base. So, um, probably going to uh, find a way to transport between the two or just start hauling shit over there and, and do stuff over there and fuck it you know it's just you know the, the hide is better here all the resources are better here than here the only good resources here is you can kill the spider you can kill certain things you know and uh, you can leave that base there like it's like an in-between base because like like here's a crocodile here the alligator that you can kill then you have um, where's the spider here's the spider so here's a spider here's a crocodile here's another alligator so there's three bosses in the area this alligator I don't think it drops anything I could be wrong I don't remember it dropping anything but there it is you know what I mean so that's a good area for like kicking boss ass but over here here you have hide thick hide you have the the yeah i'm over here at the weeping ruin that's where i am that's the new base location your swagger rock and, and also over here there's that uh, greater hyena hyena are there the greater hyenas so anyway uh there's not a lot of wood there but yeah, it's more interesting so what i'm gonna probably do is just start going back and forth back and forth or trying to find a horse. I haven't found a horse yet, but we'll get there. So anyway, I wanted to read this note and document it. Priest's journal. information there it is it is amazing to me that the other people who share this place with me call this the exiled lands if I could name it I call it the blessed lands because it's truly a place of great blessings in Melusa was rash a foolish man the youngest son of minor noble of Politan Poiton at that age I was consumed by my love of wealth and status and drank and gambled and uh, with other young men a questionable character Eventually, my father, when confronted with my gambling debts, gave me no choice. He simply slipped me off to a monastery to contemplate my sins. I was not an admirable monk. I confess freely more concerned with my own amusement than the state of my soul. I often stole from the monastery by night and returned with stolen casks of ale and food. I was popular among the other monks, of course, but... The abbot began to see my influence upon his entire congregation. Eventually he decided to get be rid of me. One night I woke bound hand and foot with sturdy ropes, while two burly men lifted me from the bunk and carried me down the winding stone case in the monastery. The abbot accompanied them, wringing his hands and pleading with, and pleading with his eyes. My child, the choice breaks my heart, but I am losing the others. These men will take you away somewhere far away where you can start a new life away from your father or Mitra. They're the best for this monastery and best for you to tell me that you understand, he pleaded. What if they decided to slip my throat, Abbot, then my death will be on your hands? I spat. I have assurance that they will not. He glanced nervously at the men carrying me out. <laughs> oh boy. He was put in the back of the wagon covered up how long I travel can I say man they really flushed him down the toilet on the last night of my old life we were given our rations a thick heavy stew of vegetables and meat 
like the others, I ate ravenously, and like the others, when whatever poison they had put into the food kicked in, the darkness swallowed me. The next day, my new life began. I awoke stripped naked in the sands of a vast desert. There were no people to be seen, just some ruins in the vast emptiness of sands. I was disoriented, but I chose to choose a direction and set out, hoping to find anybody or anything. Almost died, sandstorm came sweeping in, swirling sand. Mm -hmm. Typical. I repented of life. I came from desert man, got in Mitra. Uh, this is a, some guy that was a priest, and then he. Uh, huh, interesting. It's just, it's just a little sanctuary. The uh, soldiers here were very weak. There's nothing fantastic about it. Okay. There's another thing here on this side. Yeah, there was some ruins over there. It was a radioactive kind of thing, a corruption thing. And so I got out of there. Let's see if this is any better. These look like stairs. Oh, is that my bedroom? You know what? That's not my bedroom. an old place where somebody camped. Okay. Well, this thing is in the middle of it, and it, I thought maybe there'd be an entrance here. There's some... Uh, uh, Watch your foot. Those guys scared me because they're fast. Oh, I remember this. I came here before a long time ago. This is their this is where those spiders came from in there. Oh shit. Oops, my bad. Ooh, rare gemstone. That's probably treasure. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, last time I wound up up here somewhere with these guys. And they chased me away. I got scared and ran. Navigation chart, huh? Bring that spider in here. Let them have fun with it. <laughs> You've gone for me now, or swing for me later. <laughs> See, I finally learned to play. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Watch your flaps. <laughs> me and me mates are tick as thieves. Ah! 
Got you fuckers. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh man. Metal. Don't head. Skull. I'll probably go over there and farm them a little bit. Uh, they look like slavers. <gasps> Shit. What do they call that? <laughs> Nothing like beer. Man, I kept forgetting to go buy beer, as a matter of fact. I should have bought beer for this weekend. <laughs> Would have been a nice weekend. Oh, I did kill them all. I thought there was one left. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they're sacrificing people and shit. What's this? Right now I'm encumbered, I just want to get home. But like I said, I'm gonna go get my animal and start bringing critical things over to that new area. And just, I'll probably wind up going back and forth quite a bit and it'll be mostly a trek. Um, it's it's kind of hard to come to that place where you're gonna give up that, that thing, but what other conclusion can you draw? So what I'm going to do here, since I want to go investigate that cave right there just for the hell of it, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to put it on the map. I'm going to see what we're going to do. So I want to go in there later, not now. That's what I find out. Uh, I'd go the other side, but I want to. I want to get out of here. I think I'm gonna have to go this direction. Let me see. Yeah, it looks about right. If I go in this direction, I'll be able to go all the way around. Yeah, I'll just follow that. Or I can try to. Um, I guess get. See, I remember coming over here, and those guys, man, they came after my ass. I couldn't defend myself. Bunch of shits. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's another town. Look at that. Oh, I'm making nothing but 
mistakes here. There we go. See, it's hard to... Fuck. I'm getting so much good shit. Another rare gem. That's two. That's probably a treasure. Oh my goodness. Trail jerky. Okay, so I went up around the wrong way. I'm supposed to go down. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just run. Get out of here while I can. <laughs> just run. Let me just follow it around. There's crocodilios over here, but they're not that fast. Oh yeah, I've been around here before. It's a very beautiful par uh, part of it right here. Incredibly beautiful. It's like, wow. Hmm. Let me check something out. Another croc. I'm glad I started moving again. Lots of aloe, plenty of deer. But see, the problem is that's just regular leather. You need thick leather to do heavy armor. You need lots of thick leather. And over there, you can get thick leather. Not easily, but you can get it. Alright, this area I'm used to. I found all these aloe plants here and I was like, yay, aloe. Okay. Crocodilio. So there's a place to go get metal, there's a place to go get hide. But I want to farm those soldiers. I don't just. Need them. I don't want to have to haul that shit back over here. You know, I do need a centralized location. Technically, if I wanted to, the smartest thing to do really is not to build over there, but to build in a centralized area. That's always the intelligent thing to do, no matter what. And this is not centralized. Once I get home. I'll look at the map and I'll see. I'll show you where it's. It's really not centralized at all. See, here's home. See, there's my taming pen. Did I leave the baby there, or I take the baby with? Oh, I left the baby in the box. Okay. Changing my mind. Here's the babies. Greater hyena. Oh, so it. Oh, they all return to the pen. I left him over there. 
I left, well, I left him there. And George, I think I left George up there. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, the babies are up. I think I'm going to wind up moving the base down here. Taking this area here, blocking it off. I'll leave that ramp there in case I need to go up. But I might just uh, put a storage facility here because I know how to make a vault. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it because I want to do it in a way where I have access to all the bosses. Let's see. Let's look at the map. Okay. There's nothing down here. This is this is where you start out in this shit over here. Only good thing about here is there's plenty of land. Nobody's gonna mess with you. But this is this is the world right here. I don't know about this area. I have not explored this deep. It's not like you can get on a boat and do it, but like there, that might be a civilized area. Because look, it has a dock. So that may actually be a port or something. I don't know. That doesn't mean you have access to it. I mean, they could block that shit off. Or this could be an ancient city, and maybe in here is where you get special resources. I wouldn't be surprised. But look at this. See, there's more structures there. So, anyway, so the big things are the galleon. All this in here is the major thing. All of this is the major thing right here. Okay. Now, getting up here, you know, in reality, if I wanted access to all of this, let's say... Here. All right, this is where there's brimstone in this cave all right and in this cave over here or is it this cave hey baby I'm pretty sure it's this cave and this this one and that one so the brimstone the only brimstone I know of is right here in this area Okay, and you need that for steel as far as I understand. So that, I have to be fairly close to that. This base is here. There's really nothing, no metal in the area. I want to get hide. So, and I want to farm this. So what I can do is I can do a small facility that will help me to break down the metals that I get from those guys from killing those guys and I should put the base because let's say I want let's focus in on the area well this is the area okay so the center of the map is like right there and that but you're still far from the brimstone Oh, look, here's the summoning place. Shit. You would have to pass by the fucking summoning place all the time. There's the spider. Alligators down here. Alligators right there. I don't know. I don't know. You can't have it all. I think I'll wind up changing my mind, staying down here and just farming up here for hide and other shit. As fucking difficult as that is. I can still build a small facility here where I am and just farm the shit out of them. I think what I'll do is I'll do a minimalist facility next to the uh, Weeping Ruin. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just set up storage and that stuff that breaks down the weapons. Um, I forgot dismantler. I can put a dismantler there. Damn, I can't believe this, these animals return to the pen. Okay. All right. 
Well, at least I, I know that these boys are back. I wish I knew what happened to my first shell back. Carl just disappeared. I think maybe I I left him here and he went back and started guarding something and got killed, but it just doesn't it doesn't show him in the thing. See? Oh, I haven't named my hand now. It's too bad I lost that level three fighter. Would have been nice to keep him. Shit. Did you finish? Or are you still working on steel? Okay, so she finished all the iron and now she's working on the steel bars. Fucking awesome. Anyway, uh, let's see. This is what I need to make another dismantling bench over there. And I'll be better off. That's mine. I gotta really think about it. I gotta really think about it. I got a whole facility here, but I could try to move it further inland. Oops, wrong one. But I'm not sure I even wanna do that. I mean, something to consider, you know? Just gotta consider it. Because I got everything here set up already. I didn't think long term, but I wasn't thinking about having to worry about being within fairly close proximity. Of course, you know, oops, wrong bat, wrong bat. I think I have any thick leather here. Yeah, I don't think I have any thick hide either. I just have regular hide. That's all I have. It would take a long time to try to get all this shit over there. That's a problem. I mean, really, I have a lot of stuff here. Now, nothing in the summoning place was in any way a danger, but some of the creatures here, they're on the ground level, and they're kind of a devil, uh, a devil, uh, uh, a danger. Let's see, Mitra Serenity. This is where I saw that, that priest, and I read that document. Spider cave. Now this is the spider cave I want to go ahead and explore. Scavengers purse. I want to know what's over here, like going around here. I want to explore that direction. Um, 
I could probably. Oh no, that's a spider. I could probably relocate close to the metal. And the hide would be. In other words, I can move from here to here. And if I really want to do the boss. Yeah, like here's Smuggler's Refuge. Here's Gallimund's Overlook. It's, this is, this is, I'm sorry, this is where you get, um, whatchamacallit, brimstone, and this is where you can get brimstone too, but to access this, you go through a bunch of shit to get to it, only good thing is there's a croc there, but there's a croc right here that, at this one, this alligator drops shit, this one, I, I don't think it did, at least I don't remember, there was a door there I couldn't get past, so, this is. Uh, I'll delete that one. Delete it. Because this these guys had yellow lotus, but I found yellow lotus uh, right here. Yellow lotus right here. So if I need a yellow lotus, I can do that. I also have yellow lotus seeds. So that I'm not worried about. So I'm going to want to go up. I'm used to trying to do this, but it's the Spider Queen. I keep thinking that the Spider Queen's over here, but she's here. You can't. I can't settle here. This is. I would have to settle somewhere here, or up here. Either here, where the metal is, surrounded by deadly tribes, uh, or over here. Now the thing is, cancel, I keep using the wrong button. There was a scorpion somewhere, which I think I put it in there. I always put a skull for the scorpion. Where's the scorpion? That's the spider cave. Tower of bats, I, I killed a bat. Oh yeah, this is the good base location. And these are the corner of bones. Okay, so I think the scorpion was around here. Or here. Could have been around here. I had made. I don't know. You could, you could try to build around there. Hmm. Huh. The problem is if cancel that get this there hmm. yeah this is that wall of shrines and stuff that we saw here's a cold area god this map is huge now that I think about it, I don't think I've even, I don't think I've even been in there. There was an aqueduct passage thing, and I had to run for my life because it was just dangerous as fuck in there. Oh, shit. There's some places you go and you just get corruption. I guess it depends on what I want to do. I guess I could have a centralized base location where I can take all the primary resources, just like Rome. Rome is a centralized location for the old empire. And then fairy stuff back there from here. You know, I have that box next to the spider so I can farm the spider. 
Well, anyway, it's interesting uh, exploring all that. I'll have to go back up there and, and see if I can get some of that thick hide in order to complete that journey. Uh, I need to get steel, hardened steel. I need steel armor because this, this is just silly going on here. Just silly. Anyway. Anyway, I'll have to think about it. I really can't say for sure. I just thought I'd show you guys that thing. Uh, let me go ahead and put down some more junk here. Um, okay, that's good lighting. see in here. Nice. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, that's a huge tent. That's something you definitely want to put in the desert. Besides a well, because you're going to need it. Okay, got a bunch of brick. All that thrall food. You know what? It's my standalone server. Nobody can tell me shit. Uh, I can have this as a, a main area if I want. I just have to expand it out a little bit more. But um, I think what I'll do is um, I'll go ahead and uh, I will move. could move next to the metal. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is uh, focus in on the educational aspect. Because the whole point of this series is to go ahead and learn how to play. It's not to actually play the game. You know, there's nowhere to log in here. It's a standalone game here. So, I'll go ahead and... i got to get something to eat anyway. I'm a little hungry. But, I think we'll go ahead and uh, let, that, let that pass for now and um, go from there thanks for watching I'm going to end the video like my new helmet gets 4% uh, damage bonus so it helps anyway thanks for watching take care